Welcome back. We're with or three, two, one. Welcome back. We're with the Old Sun Sports Shakedown Podcast. It is your host, Old Sun. We have a great episode today, but first we are brought to you by Process Exposure. Process Exposure is a football company that puts on camps, clinics, showcases, and college visits all to benefit athletes at affordable cost. Check us out. We're on Twitter. We're in the DMV. We're doing very big things. Again, that's Process Exposure. Um, give us a shout if you're looking to get recruited without breaking the bank. Um, we have a very cool guest. He is um, played for the Maryland Terrapins, won some ACC championships. He's a um, trench daddy. He played in the on the, the linebacker and offensive line, correct? That's right. Yes, and he played in the NFL for the Giants for a year. He's a Prince George's County native. Welcome, Mr. Kervin Wyatt, sir. How are you doing, sir? Hey, thanks for having me. Like, um, I love the concept of your show. Helping all these young people to get noticed and get some exposure and just educate the people about what's going on in Maryland. Yeah, what's going on. Showcasing our athletes. That's what I'm all about. Showcasing our athletes and our athleticism and our just saying we're, we're, we're good at sports. We're Maryland. We're good at sports. That's what I'm all about. Fantastic. I mean, all these other schools come to Maryland to get all these kids. Like, we have so much talent in Maryland. I really wish they would all just band together and make Maryland great like it's supposed to be. It's it's going to happen in my lifetime, and that's my mission to make it happen in my lifetime. So I'm and I'm glad you see the you know vision too, sir. Yeah, back in the old days, back when I was in high school in the seventies, all the best players like Maryland got all the best players out of Maryland. We all went to Maryland. I mean, I. Bear Bryant called my house and asked me if I wanted to go to Alabama. No, I said, no, sir. You know, Woody Hayes took me to Ohio State. He asked me to put my feet up on his desk and wanted me to come to Ohio State. And I said, I'm from Maryland. I'm going to Maryland. I'm representing Maryland. My friends, my teachers, and all the people I know, I'm a state of Maryland. And when I was there, they told me the best football player in the country goes to Maryland. At the time, it was Randy White. Randy White. In the Alex Trophy. So I was like, they told me about the media, how the Washington Post is the biggest paper in the, in the world. Like, when you get your name in that paper, everyone in the world reads it. So there was no reason to go anywhere else. I can't wait till it gets back to being that way again. I, th I really like, um, so I think our athletic director, Mr. Damon Evans, I think he's doing a fantastic job. I really, I like, I, I'm a huge fan of Coach Loxley. I really like what Kevin Willard's doing so far. I think the right people, um, and I I won't name their names, but I, they're the behind the scenes people, but uh, so many behind the scenes people are doing good things in the Maryland Athletic Department that um, I just... I, I really, truly believe where you're headed in that direction. I agree with you. I mean, the, since Coach Loxley's gotten there, they've really reached out to all the alumni, which is kind of cool because I've been back on campus many times. There's lots of events. We've talked to the young people, and, like, there's a lot of excitement going on because without a doubt right now in the present, we have the best team we've had since we've been in the Big Ten. Correct. I mean, great. Granted, we probably have the hardest schedule we've had since we had in the Big Ten, but that's okay. Bring it on. We're just going to keep getting better and better. No doubt about it. Yeah, the, the I think I think what's if I if I dare say make a prediction. Um, I think if we can win eight to ten games this year, I really think the re, the next year's recruiting class and this year's recruiting class is really going to shift the momentum to to make us a consistent 8-10 to 10 win team. You know what I'm saying? 100%. I agree with you. And more, more and more of those four-star and five-star guys will stay home. Sorry to cut you off. As long as, you know, we, we compete really hard with the, with the Ohio States. You know, as long as you can tell it's a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, knockdown, drag-out fight, win or lose. be nice to win. Like we could have a couple of years ago when we just needed to make a Our, catch the ball in the end zone one time. But, you know, as long as we, we show and prove and people can see with their own eyes, 
but we can go toe to toe with these teams. I think that's all it's going to take for people to want to get on the bandwagon. Yeah, absolutely. And I, um, I, I, I think a lot about, um, I'm a big Stefan Diggs fan. I think a lot about how I, he was at the, the university at the same time I was and just how monumental he was and the ripple effect it's going to have, like just how many, how much good he brought to the university and how just from there, like who, who committed because Stefan Diggs committed to Maryland and they committed because they committed. And then it's just, you can't quantify the effect of it, but like, there's there is that effect that lasts for years and years and years. Absolutely, we need those current day Sean Merriman. Yeah, the Sean, the Vernon Davises. You know, those guys, you know, the EJ Hendersons, and you know those guys that be that become all Americans from PG County, from Southern Maryland, from the Eastern Shore. Yeah. Shore. You know, we need those guys from DC, even Northern Virginia. Yeah, uh, we need all those DMV guys to come in there and just show how successful they can be for our team, instead of the team up north or the teams out west. You know, do it right here. That, that, you know, that's when we know the best is ahead when those guys start staying home. You know? Ab- absolutely, and a thing I like that the co- the coaching staff is doing in the, with their recruiting push is they're really selling that you can not just it's not four years for it's for life but you they're really selling the value of the university of maryland degree in our academic programs and just the proximity to dc and the connections you make at the university of maryland and how it sets you up for success after the game of football is done and i see so many of my peers like who are 30 year old guys who were at like tory smith matt robinson is a coach for the ravens um Eric Franklin's a coach for the Ravens. There's just so many guys who are just thriving that do running their own brands, running their own companies, doing well. That are Terps. Kevin Plank. You know what I'm saying? There's so there's so many opportunities after football in the DMV area. I don't understand why you would go want to live, go to school in some rural area, and then come back here. You know and. and and expect people to like reach out to help you and fun, fun, fun. You could have stayed here the whole time. I mean, if you don't want to make your living in the middle of the woods somewhere, like why wouldn't you stay here and network and build all those relationships in an area where you can be successful for the rest of your life? I mean, that's you know, it's the, it's about the game of life, not just football. The air will come out of that ball one day, and when it when it ends. You want to be in an area like this, you know, instead of, you know, some small town in the Midwest or something. You know? Yeah, or like where? rural I mean, Arkansas. No, no offense, but it's the DMVs where it's just that it's the it's facts are facts. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about what are you what um who. What are your what are your expectations for this season? What are you what are games are there any games or players you're looking forward to break players are looking forward to breaking out or games you're looking forward to seeing? Well, I mean I've I've followed the Terps, you know, very heavily every year. And since they've been in the Big Ten, you've seen we've had skill positions that can match anybody. We've had the DJ Moores, you know, we we've had receivers, we've had running backs, we've had, you know, the Anthony McFarlands and you know and and the Jake Funks and the and yeah. the Lee Davis. I mean our backs were as good as anybody. But we whenever we watched the games we always saw that the offensive line and the defensive lines were lagging a little bit behind some of the big ten teams and that made it hard for us to compete. I'm so excited that this year we have everybody returning on the offensive line. And we finally look like a Big Ten offensive line. We look line. like... And we even have depth. We have a second offensive line that can play. So that's what's exciting for me is to finally see an offensive line that looks like the Big Ten, a defensive line that looks like the Big Ten. A lot of people think, oh, well, we lost a couple people in the portal. Gosh, look at the ones that we have. Coach Claiborne used to tell us, you know, don't worry about the ones that you don't get or the ones that you don't have. 
Yeah. You make sure that the ones that you do have can freaking play. That's you know? absolutely right. So that's what we have. We have kids that can play. You know, and it's so exciting. I'm very excited to see what they, you know, how they perform this year because we have experience and we have the size. We haven't had that before. I saw. I like to use the word. We have the horsepower to compete with the Big Ten. I like to use the word horsepower. Like we've just got the muscle and like the the weight and the just it, the size, and we're just gonna we we're not gonna play. We're not gonna bully bull out Ohio State, but we can. We're not. We're not gonna be out bullied by other teams that, the way we have been. We'll be able to go toe to toe, and I mean we've got some talented running backs. I can't wait to see Littleton. I want Littleton, to yeah, the raw. I, the, my gosh, he looks great in the bowl game. I mean, everybody. I heard he slimmed down and is looking, looking lean and hands. mean. Our quarterback. We haven't had. I mean, we've had people coming in and out of quarterback with ACLs and stuff. Knock on wood. Yeah. We got Leah that's coming back for the third year in a row. We finally have an experienced quarterback. We have great receivers. We have facts. We have a line. I mean, our defense, all we have to do is, you know, hopefully they won't be on the field that much. But when they are, you got a kicker that kicks the ball out of the end zone. I mean, everything is set up for to have a really good year this year. Yeah, we just got to I, – I believe – and I, I believe in the coaching staff. I think they're going to pull the right levers, press the right buttons, manage the game, and I think we're going to get the job done. Well, um, that um, – uh, I guess next. I'm really excited about the season. I guess you can tell. <laughs> yeah, that's that'll um yeah so that'll um I guess that's kind of wrap things up. But that I really appreciate. I guess do you have any other topics or questions or you wanted to talk about? Well, I mean it's football season, but you got to be excited about basketball as well. Yeah, I wanted yeah talk about basketball. That I knew I was forgetting yeah, something. Basketball. basketball. Yeah, Kevin Willard's been doing a great job too. Baseball team, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, things are good at Maryland. It's just good to be a turf right now. And Absolutely I'm, right. I, again, I'm, I'm, I support everything you're doing. I think it's great. I love to see all the reports, you, you know, because we don't get to see all the high school kids on the Eastern Shore and up in Baltimore and other places out of Western Maryland. Southern Maryland, yeah. have been helping these kids out in out in the Panhandle at Fort Hill and places like that, man, that's fantastic. I'm, I'm glad you you get you get you get what I'm trying to do. I appreciate you, sir. You understand what I'm all about doing, and you, I appreciate that so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, good luck, good luck to you, and I'm going to continue to follow you on Twitter and wherever I can find you on. YouTube or yeah, definitely. I'll be in touch, sir. And if I, I, I'm hoping to make it up to some games. I'll be in touch, sir. Have fun. 